Hello guys, it's your guy Mark Africana and by the way I have missed you guys. Thank you for following me. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for TikTok followers and thank you for everything you guys. So, I have a small discussion I want us to discuss. I was looking at TikTok and I want to ask you guys one thing. Did you know that the database for TikTok is based in China? Because TikTok is a China app. It's a China-made app. So, basically, uh, China, guys, uh, they, they, they made this app for them to showcase their talent. Which kind of talent were they trying to come up with all to showcase so china when they were developing this app they wanted to show their skills in uh creativity you know you somebody can come up and make a, a certain machine and they they showcase that eh? so that's what essentially that was the idea for the development of tiktok and that's why if you see the videos that are trending on uh on tiktok in china mostly more creative creativity yeah coming up with solutions for different uh things like there are some people who can tell you what uh, if your car breaks down uh, something happens to to your phone how can you do that how can you manufacture a microphone like the one i'm using so that was basically the idea but now TikTok, when it came to Africa, it was changed to a totally different thing. So, Africa, TikTok is just for our girls twerking and doing challenges. That's why if you see a video, a TikTok video that is trending in Africa is a video of a lady who is half naked twerking but when you go to china and the developed countries the most trending tiktok video is for technology a video that is meant for uh, transmitting in useful information to people so guys i'm asking this question for the second time do you think that tiktok is being of any help to Africa